Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to see about the program control instructions like MCR. So generally, MCR means it is master control relay, right? So you can see the program control instruction here. Inside that we have a MCR. So here there are four instructions for MCR, correct? So usually MCR will be like a coil, right? So generally MCR is used to like jump function only. Jump function is used to skip the uh, certain rungs, right? So MCR is a master control relay which will be act like an emergency stop. Okay. So for example, uh, in, a, in your industry, you are running so much of input and you are having so much of input and so much of outputs, right? So due to some fire accident or some immediate uh, some accident happen, so you, you need to turn off uh, one unit completely. Okay, so if that unit is having multiple inputs, is it not advisable to turn off all the inputs, right? Okay, because uh, you may have 50 to 100 outputs over there. So you cannot go to all the inputs and turning off. And even though if you, are, if you are turning off the input, suddenly it may happen some other issues. So in those cases, you can put those emergency, emergency shutdown devices in the MCR zone. Okay. So by turning off only one switch or one button, you can turn off everything. Okay. That's what they have introduced the MCR. So whatever you want to put it in a safe zone. What are the device you want to shut down immediately, you can make use of that in a MCR zone. It is not exactly equal to the emergency stop. If you have pressed the emergency stop, it will shut down all your process. Right? But MCR will be turning off some particular process. So we need to create a zone for that. Right? So that's what in Siemens they have given the four coils here. Correct? So can you see the first one is master control relay activate. Next one is master control relay deactivate. The next one is master control relay on. Next is master control relay off. Okay. So first we need to create a zone. So I am going to tell you some particular order. So first we need to use MCRRA. That means master control relay on. First, you need to introduce this one. After that, MCR activate. After these two only, you need to put all the rungs. What are the things you want to put it in a safe zone? So, once the safe zone rung is done, you need to end with this one. Master control relay deactivate. Okay. Last is master control relay off. Can you get what I am telling? So let me show you how to do this. First we need to connect MCR activate. After that MCR. This is MCR on. This is MCR activate. Right. So at last the in between. In between we need to write the rungs. Which and all we want to shut down immediately. Okay. So maybe I will be taking only two rungs. Okay. So in the next rung you will be connecting this one. And the last rung you will be connecting the relay off. Can you get the point? So what I have done? First I have introduced this A which is nothing but relay on. Then activate. Then your program. Then relay deactivate. The last one is relay off. Fine. So in these four coils. This one. What is this? Master control relay activate needs a condition. Okay, so here I need to give a input condition. What is the purpose of giving the input condition here? Means the control should be in the user hand. Once you press I 0, 0.0, everything will go shut down in between, in between whatever you are connecting here. Let me show you how to do that. So I am just connecting one more input with output. Okay, I am just connecting one output and in the next rung also I am going to connect one output and one input. Okay, I am I'm connecting and I am giving some different address. Right? So yes, done, it is done. 
right so now after my mcr zone i am going to connect some rungs so why i am connecting rungs this one means after this deactivation after this de uh, relay of nothing will affect so i want to show you that that's what i am connecting here fine so in the same way in the same way i'm going to introduce one more rung here i'll be connecting this here i mean this is the rung i'm connecting is before mcr okay so i'll connect here i0.5 i'll connect this is u0.5 okay so let's go for online fine so now few inputs are on i'm going to turn off everything fine so this is normal right okay i0.0 is a mcr one i should not turn on first i'll turn on i0.5 it is on correct next i0.4 also i have used oh this is that is on now what is the in between thing i have introduced i0.0 and i0.1 i0.1 i0.2 okay so see here your outputs is not turned on can you see here i0.1 is on but q0.0 and q0.1 is not turned on okay so this will be working only if i0.0 is in a on condition okay so the uh, mcr is designed like this in siemens it is like a main power uh, switch in our home in our energy meter we are having on main supply correct if you are turning off nothing will be working in our home nothing home appliance will be working in our home if you turn on everything will be working so like that this mcr is the main power supply for q0.0 and q0.1 right so if you turn off it will off immediately if you turn on it will be working properly okay so that's what the mcr zone will be like this so on it see i have turned on it's not on because mcr is not in a on condition imagine mcr is like a main power supply to the rungs which we have connected in between the mcr correct and that mcr should have a input condition i0.0 fine so this is how you need to introduce the mcr zone you need to use relay on activate your necessary rungs then relay off re deactivate and last is relay off got it so that's it fine even you can introduce one more mcr in you know in between mcr like looping this mcr already you have introduced again one mcr also if you want you can introduce okay this this zone this is zone so here you are starting your mcr zone this zone you need to create that's what they have given four coils so up to this one your mcr zone is there here in your mcr zone get ended fine so this is how you need to use the mcr instruction in siemens fine so one point you need to have it in your mind it is like a main power supply unless you turn on that nothing will be working so like this also you can work i have introduced mcr with like uh, if you turn off everything will be off like that i have introduced right so if you want you can make use of the not instruction here so if you are using a not instruction what will be happening there let's see that everything will be everything will be working properly okay as usual if you turn on your input corresponding output will be on if mcr is on everything will be on everything will be off okay so by using not instruction you can make use of the mcr instruction according to your wish for example if something is happening i i need to turn on one thing which will turn off the corresponding outputs or if you release that corresponding outputs will be on that is your wish whether you want to turn on or you want to turn off that is your wish okay so according to by using logic you can make the mcr instruction according to your 
requirement that's what the conclusion is fine yes so we have one more instruction in program logic that is a subroutine we will see that in the next session fine so until then bye